There's a lot of hype around probiotics, so yogurts, uh, capsules, all sorts of products that supposedly contain beneficial bacteria. They've been um, linked to all kinds of health claims, from nebulous ones like promote gut health and boost immunity, to specific ones like helping to treat all kinds of disorders that have been linked to the microbiome, from inflammatory bowel disease to irritable bowel syndrome and more. The problem is that some of these strains have been grown in industrialized cultures for a very long time. They don't consist of the A-listers of the gut. They are strains that have been chosen because they were historically easier to package and grow and manufacture. And they are found in very low concentrations. So when you swallow these products, the microbes within them don't colonize you. They don't establish themselves. They disappear or they pass through you, which might explain why these products have um, so few convincing benefits. There is a promise here, of course. Um, the idea of taking beneficial microbes is a very sound one, but I think we need to get much savvier and smarter about picking microbes that are going to do well inside us. We're not quite there yet, but it's something that scientists are very actively looking at.